It's been very good. We um, find out about this fight about seven weeks before December 23rd. So uh, we didn't have too much time. I think we had enough time because I was already in very good shape. I just had a win over Gassiev in September 30th. I had a week off and then I was back training. So I was in a really good place when we got the call. So I'm happy about that. And then the training has just been going really well. I think me already being in shape for the last fight and then also having the extra motivation for this fight, I think made it all so much better. And I feel like I'm in great shape, probably the best shape of my life. I think that he's still one of the best fighters out there. And he's done really well in his career and he deserves respect. But, you know, losing to Usyk and Ruiz, there's no shame in that. They're very good fighters. But, yeah, I, th I think there's been a decline in his game. He hasn't really been the same lately. Uh, but, you know, losing against those guys, anybody can. But I think that the timing of this fight is in my advantage. Uh, just coming off that win, I have really good momentum. And I don't know if, if he has, uh, if he's in the same place. I am. I, th I feel very good. I've done everything I can. Uh, I remember my dad, he always used to tell me that once you step in, in the ring, you've got to know that you've done everything you possibly can to be as prepared as possible. And that I, I kept with me over the years, and I always try to prepare to the best of my ability. And if I'm not ready now, I'm never going to be ready. So, so I'm ready to go in there, have fun. I feel like I have no pressure. He has all the pressure, and I can just go in, have fun, and just beat him. It would be massive, right? Yeah, I mean, it would be amazing. It would be amazing. It's uh, a big thing for me, a big thing for Sweden. I get a lot of support over there. I think it would be amazing for me, my family, my team. So we are really excited about this opportunity. Yeah, I didn't think that Engano was going to stand any chance, but he did a really good job. He, he lasted 10 rounds, which is really amazing with the limited amount of boxing experience that he has. So he did a really good job at the same time. I don't think Fury, he didn't look the same in that fight. He didn't, he didn't look that he was really prepared. Uh, he, he looked off. And, you know, Ngannou is a strong guy, probably awkward coming from MMA, so it's not easy to fight those guys. But I think when, Usyk, when Fury is going to fight Usyk, he's probably going to step it up. I think that would be a good fight, and Fury really has to be in his end game. And if he is, I think that he's going to win the fight. Yeah, yeah, why not? I'm, I'm very focused on this fight now, so I haven't really thought about Engano, but I'm here for big fights. I want to win this fight and then take my career to another level.